Hey everyone, here is Martina Stach and I am here with incredible Bruce Lipton. And I met him here at the Conference of Consciousness and Human Evolution and we had a little chat about dreaming. And I would like to find out from you a little bit about dreaming, uh, of your experiences as well with lucid dreaming. Yes. But mostly about how it is it possible that we can reprogram our brain in our dreams. Okay. One of the most important parts about what dreaming is is you disconnect from the current reality. Your spirituality, your identity, is not in here, it's out here. So when you're going to sleep, you're not operating from within this mechanism which has got filters of learning and belief and that's what we operate through. When you're dreaming, you're outside up here. So when you see the world or the universe from that perspective, it's not through the same lens of learning that we have when we're in the body. So you get to see a different picture and a different way of life. And from that, you can see what some exciting things that you would like. Uh, and if you get into the dream enough, it, it could be, and especially for repeating dream, uh, you can use this as information that's not from your current life, but from your spiritual source. And therefore, you have ideas and visions that you can bring from there and bring it back into here. Mm -hmm. And when you have ideas and visions uh, that you can bring in your body, and now, and we can also then talk about that, we now know how to program, change those programs. Then, the idea is, well, what do you want to change it to? What do you exactly. want? And, and when you have an like, opportunity to have dreams, it's giving you, like, opportunities, potential. What can you see? Mm -hmm. What would you like to see? What would you like to experience, okay? And if you can see that free of the body, you get a more pure picture of what you're looking at. If you take that picture and then bring it back into the body, then you have an opportunity to say, this is what I want, this is what I'm looking for, my life does not have it. And I go, yeah, but the idea is, if you know what you want, you then have an opportunity to reprogram the subconscious mind is where our life comes from. So I can take a picture from a dream and then create a program that has that picture in it. How do you recognize if this picture, which you have in your dream, is good for you or not? You can tell if something is good for you or not by the feelings you have in your body. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about the concept of vibration and energy. That We're not physical, we're energy. And when energy is in harmony with you, it's called good vibes. And you feel more power, okay? And if something's not good for you, the energy of that will take away the energy, it's called bad vibes, you feel low energy. So the idea is, what do you want? And the answer is, what is it that gives you the good vibes? Because that's your body saying, this is something that gives me energy. Energy is life, the more energy, the more life, okay? So if you say, oh, I would like to do this, and I say, well, how does it feel? And you say, well, it doesn't feel that good in my energy. I go, well, that's not what you want. I say, it's the one that goes, oh, I like that one, I can feel that one. I go, that's what you want to put in. So you can select based on is what you want add energy to your life or what you want takes away energy from your life. Mm -hmm. That's where decisions should almost all come from in your life because we have a tendency to think analyze, decisions. Over analyze. analyze, analyze, like, oh, but mm -hmm. you can make an error. Just, you know, like a math problem, you do math and you make one mistake, you move the decimal point one place or another, the answer is the wrong answer. Yeah. Rational thinking can lead to that. Heart thinking just tells you, is the energy positive or the energy is negative? Yeah. If the you don't even is, need to judge it, you just feel it. It's, you it's know, not you can just feel it. You can so just feel it. And I say, go with feelings. Yeah. But the problem is most of us in our development, in our programming when we grew up, they say, don't pay attention to feelings. I go, feelings are the most important communication in our life. Feelings. Because they're feelings of energy. And energy is life. If a feeling takes away energy, that means that's, that's not good for you. If a feeling adds energy, that's the one I say, oh, that's the one I want to have in my life because it gives me more life. So when you make decisions, it's not just random, it's based on how that decision affects my energy. Okay? So any decision I make, I first check in with my heart, which is like the source of the feeling. If my heart says, oh, this is good, then I say, that's what I want. But sometimes it's like we know in a heart that what we want, but we're scared of it. How, well, how do you work with that? Then? Well, the, because I have to recognize why you're scared of it, and scared of it because some belief, some experience that you had, some learning that you had, 
may misdirect you and take you away from what you want, but that's the learning. I said, yeah, but that could have been an error. That could have been bad teaching. And then all of a sudden, you're going to make a decision based on the teaching. I said, that, if it, that, don't make a decision based on that. Make the decision based on how you feel about the energy. Don't make it about what people think or say or not that. It's really how do you feel. It's your decision. It's your life. It's your energy. I don't care what the learning is. If the learning was wrong, I still can read the energy if it's right or wrong. So let go of the learning and trust yourself. And most of us have no trust in ourselves. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay. Would you like to share with us any dream which, for example, you felt it influences your life somehow? Oh, I don't know. I have so many dreams. I'm so old, you know, 73. I have 73 years worth of dreams at that point. So, uh, no, I just know that uh, sometimes I come out of a dream and that was wonderful. And sometimes I come out of a dream because I was scary as hell. <laughs> and, uh, but what was wonderful is what adds to my life. And really, life is a dream. And you're the dreamer. And whatever dream you have, you can make real. And that's the beautiful part of we are creators. And this is the lucid dream, the conscious dream, which we are all learning to do. Absolutely, because it's a disconnect from the physical learning that you have, because the dreaming is out here, not from anything we learned in here. So you get more direct answers without the filters of, that you use in your learning to decide, is that right or wrong? Other people taught me this, other people showed me, I guess if that's... They could show you right or they could show you wrong. If you listen to other people, you may not get what you need as your truth. That's true. Thank okay. you so much, Bruce. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys, and see you later on other videos. Bye. Thank you.